News 46 is brought to you in part by... Starlight Video, giving Prump another choice in movie and game rental. Starlight Videos and Game Rentals is out of this world. New releases, just $2.99 for two nights. Hundreds of movies to choose from for 99 cents a night. The latest in game rentals. So stop in and see us or call 727-5599. Share the evening with your favorite stars at Starlight Video. Don't forget those candy and snacks. I'm with Fire Chief Scott Lewis. We had a structure fire this morning on Prospector. Yes, just after 9.30 this morning, uh, we had a report of a structure fire with occupants still within the structure. Upon arrival, we found uh, uh, numerous civilians in Knight County Sheriff's deputies who were trying to effect a rescue. One of the occupants had been removed just as I was arriving on location. Uh, one of the uh, rescuers was an off-duty test site firefighter, and they were administering care to that patient. So we knew that we still had several occupants. The fire department arrived and went into a rescue mode. Uh, several of our firefighters went through the windows uh, with a protection line, protecting them as they entered. They found two additional victims in different locations and uh, safely removed them from the structure. However, uh, there was a fourth occupant of that structure who was on the opposite side of the house that did not survive as well. So we had four fatal today, three children and one adult. We're currently in the investigative phase of the incident and we've summoned the uh, additional resources from the state fire marshal's office. They've committed resources as far as uh, Carson City to come out and assist us on this. So between the sheriff's office, uh, Prompt Valley Fire Rescue, and the state fire marshal's office, we'll be conducting a very in-depth investigation as to what happened today. And there's dispute over, was there a man inside the structure that came out first? Well, I really don't want to get into the gender of the issues, but uh, what it comes down to is that we had four fatals. We had five people injured on the fire today. One was an occupant of the structure that had got out on their own. And then we had the uh, off-duty firefighter from the test site who was injured. And the, um, we had a firefighter who was in the initial rescue effort was also injured. He's still in Desert View Hospital being evaluated. And two Nye County Sheriff's officers who also sustained injuries in the rescue attempt this morning. Um, do we know what caused the fire? Uh, as we, I mentioned earlier, the uh, state fire marshal is down to assist us in the investigation. So all uh, avenues are open as far as that investigation, and we'll just see what the outcome is. Was the mom home at the time that the fire started? Do you know? It's my understanding that she was at, an, on location, and she is the one that you know did get out of the property or the structure and was being treated for her injuries. So was there two adults inside, um, left inside, or, or do we know? Because... Uh, there's been reports that there was uh, the mom, another female, and then the three kids, and then there's other reports. Now, that's my understanding at this point, but again, until the investigation is complete, we'll just rule out everything, especially who may have egressed out of the early stages. Does anything look suspicious on this? Uh, not at this point, but again, we're underway in the investigation, so again, we're not going to rule anything out at this point.